Hi, and welcome to 4Pumps How To Video. Today we're going to install a pressure pump and show you how simple it can be to install it yourself in your home. Okay, so I've used the thread tape and gone around the thread about 14 times just to make sure that it's not going to leak at all. Now I give it a nice little squish around with my hand. Then I take the glue and I just put a, a small little bead around the top of the thread there. Not too much, just enough to make sure that it is sealing the whole way around. Okay, great. Now we simply put it in the front and start screwing it in. Now all we have to do is put the pipe on the front and now we use a little bit of the same thread glue just to lubricate it on the way in. So I'll put it on the end of the tail here. Just wipe that around with my finger. Just to make sure that that is going to slide on that little bit easier because it is quite tight. Okay, now that the inlet side of our pump is installed, we just need to have somewhere for the water to go. Now this can either go to a house, to an irrigation system, or like us today, just to a single tap. Now again, just put a little bit of thread glue. Around the top thread. Perfect. Now I've already put the thread tape on, so just like before. Oh. Okay, so screw that in. Now today we're using push fit fittings with polyethylene pipe, so it's nice and easy. Screw that all the way down. We just loosen this top bit here. Okay, so now just measure that. So I like to go about there. So I've just got my cutters here now. These cutters are ideal for the job because they don't leave any frayed edges or anything on the pipe so I just get it just tight there slight roll and then just close it down and you can see this giving me a really nice clean cut there so that when pushing it into these fittings I'm not going to get any stray edges I simply push that down there that's all it takes Okay guys, we're all set up now. We've got the inlet going, the outlet to our tap. Now, this is a pressure pump, so as I turn the tap on, the pump should come on. And then when I turn it off, it'll keep pumping just to charge up the line. This would be, remember, either your house, a tap, irrigation system. And then once it builds up that pressure, it will automatically turn off again.